This is a third example on graphing a parent function and identifying the transformations. So what we have is a parent function of f of x equals x squared. We call this a quadratic function. If you remember, the shape of a quadratic function is in the shape of a u. Either the u is going to open up or it will open down. Now we have our new function, our g of x. And we have two pieces. I'm going to start with the easier piece first, the plus 4. The plus 4 is outside the function, and it's adding 4. So if we go back to our slide here, it's outside the function, it's adding, so what happens is it's going to be a vertical shift up k units. So if we come over here, we're going to move up 4 units. So let's identify our first verbal description. Vertical, translation, up 4 units. If you think about vertical, vertical affects the y-axis, affects the y-values. So you're going to be adding 4 to every y-value. So let's write the rule. So you always have your x and your y, original order pairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to add 4 to every y-value. That's going to shift every point up on the y-axis 4 units. All right, here's the second piece. The second transformation is multiplying by one half. That is inside the function, it's a multiplier. So we have to figure out what the b is. So this, this is kind of goofy, where you go inside half and think opposite, I say. Always inside, think opposite, and it's going to affect the horizontal. So we have to go one over one half. So we're going to reciprocate that and we get two. So our b equals two. So now let's come over to here, back to our purple slide. Remember we said it's inside and reciprocate. And we have to figure out is the b greater than 1 or is it a fraction? In this case, it's greater than 1. So what happens is it's a horizontal stretch away from the y-axis. So we say verbally, horizontal stretch by whatever we reciprocate, it's now it's one half, by a scale, let's say scale of two. Scale by two. Now when we're inside the function, we're affecting the x, the horizontal. So we're going to multiply every x value by two. So if I come over and write my rule, I'm going to multiply every x by two. All right, now let's go down and graph our parent function. So our parent function is f of x equals x squared. And we're going to use the same five values we've been using in the last couple of examples. So we're going to evaluate the function. So we're substituting in for x. So negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. Now let's graph it. Left 2, up 4. Left 1, up 1. Over 0, 0, the origin. Right 1, up 1. Right 2, up 4. We've now graphed the parent function for this quadratic function, f of x equals x squared. What we want to do next is graph the new function with the transformations. We're graphing the function g of x equals 1 half x all squared plus 4. Now if we remember, we have to multiply all the x's by 2. So we're 2xing it. And we're going to add 4 to all of those. All the y's. So let's take care of the x's first. So negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we've taken care of the x. Now let's do the y. We're going to add 4 to every y value in the second column. 
So 4 plus 4 is 8, 1 plus 4 is 5, 0 plus 4 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 4 is 8. Now let's graph the ordered pairs. And this will create our new function for g of x. So I'm just circling those values. So first order pair, negative 4, up 8, negative 2, up 5, over 0, up 4, over 2, up 5, over 4, up 8. So now here is our new graph with the two transformations for g of x. Let's identify the domain and range. The domain is going to be all real numbers, so from negative infinity to positive infinity, every number on the x-axis exists. And for the range, here is on the y where it starts at 4, so y is going to be greater than or equal to 4. 